Hey Cancer, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your Soul Connection reading. So we're going to get started with an Oracle of Shadows and Light. Holy Spirit, show me clearly the energy of the Soul Connection for Cancer. And we have <laughs> Sea Beacon Fairy. Guidance, but where will it lead you? Number three. Okay. Go ahead and read the book number three okay it says a perfect solution to a problem has been presented to you but whether it is wise to take it is another thing altogether you may have more resources and opportunities than you are aware of or than you are allowing yourself to believe in do not be too quick to follow the first opportunity that comes wait and check both your sources and your inner wisdom there are many paths and many solutions. Not all advice will be right for you. So it's weird because I'm picking up on this energy of like um, watching tarot readings, like a bunch of them and trying to figure out the answers to something, um, like looking for guidance. The guidance will come through your intuition. You All you have to do is ask. You have your spiritual team around you. Just even if you if you just out loud ask for guidance, however um, you do it, they know your heart and they want to assist you. So let's get some twin flame uh, twin flame journey oracles to go further into this. What do we have for Cancer? We have pause. Yeah, so I feel like there is. Um, some type of advice being offered or opportunities that and it's like they really want you to stop and think before you jump on something and we have spring and we are in spring in the northern hemisphere so that's talking about now and at the bottom of the deck we have release okay so I do feel like there is um, there is some energy that needs to be released in order for things to blossom. I think you need to take your time and figure out what it is that you really want to release. Um, I think that there's something that you have felt you needed to release and you may um, be guided to do something completely different. But let's see... How this is playing out for you, Cancer. What's the recent past energy for Cancer? And we have the Seven of Swords, Deception and Strategy. So something has gone amiss here. And I don't know if this is you deceiving yourself or someone else deceiving you. But things tend to mirror in a relationship. So if there has been any deception, I don't think it's one-sided. All right, so what is the current energy? And we have the two of wands, planning and decision. So I do think that there's a choice. This is definitely talking about which direction do you want to go. The This could be in regard to a job even. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but I feel like it's affecting, all of this is affecting uh, the relationships that you have, those closest to you. So the challenge here is release. What is the advice from spirit? And we have hidden knowledge. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets. I mean, this is you honing in on your intuition, but I think that there's something that you already know, but you are in maybe in a little bit of denial about. And this message doesn't have to be your message. If it doesn't feel like it resonates, then it's not your message. The outcome, the Ace of Swords, breakthrough and awareness. So there's going to be some clarity brought in. Some kind of, it could even be an epiphany where you're understanding that you've known all along of something, of something where there has been secrets or deception. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, steady progress. So I think that 
if you look at this, it does look very desolate and like there's really nothing around this snail. So I feel like, um, I feel like you've been seeking and looking for guidance because you're not sure about the situation. It looks dark, it looks dreary, but I feel like spring is here. I think to let you know that things can turn in a different direction. But let's see. <clears throat> let's clarify what's the Seven of Swords about. And we have the King of Swords. So I feel like, you know, this could be an air sign that you're dealing with, but I, I don't. I feel like this is you getting completely... complete clarity about something that's happened recently or the recent past. Um, this could have to do with the law. It doesn't have to, um, but it could have something to do with the law or some type of judgment. What is this two of wands about? It could also be boss energy. What is this two of wands about? And we have the three of cups. Yeah, I'm getting... <laughs> There's like third party energy here, strong. What is this release as a challenge? And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is, I think that you're being offered an opportunity. I'm getting so many different messages. It's like I'm literally tapping into each person that's watching this. So for some of you, there is definitely um, an opportunity to be a part of a team. And it's like a, a work opportunity. But that would mean you'd have to leave who you're used to working with. Um, and then for others, this is finding out something that you felt inside already as a third party situation in a soul connection. What is this high priestess about? And we have the four of pentacles. So somebody's been holding back a secret. So whether this is you or whether this is somebody else, there's definitely been something being held back, blocked. What is this Ace of Swords? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the timing has everything to do. Divine timing will come into play of when this will all be like a breakthrough. And it's going to be turn everything into the right direction for your highest good. Doesn't mean that it's not going to be like painful or like upsetting or something, but this breakthrough is going to make the sun come out. That's what I'm getting. And at the bottom of the deck, of course, we have the moon instead of the sun. <laughs> but this is definitely going into some fears, some darker energy, some low vibrational energy. This could be a little bit of a nightmare that you've been going through. This is very vague, very vague. And I just feel like it's because I'm tapping into multiple stories here. If this is a job, I feel like this opportunity is challenging because you it may not present itself as being better than what you're already at. If you're in a relationship, I feel like it's about really going with your gut and it doesn't matter if you have this breakthrough or not. If you feel that there's something deceptive going on, there's no way this relationship would work. It's just, it's going to create madness within, within the relationship. So it, you don't have to have proof if that's what you think is happening. All right, so a little vague, but I do feel like there's a message here of thinking twice, taking pause, and not reacting. Being very mindful of how you react and how you decide, decisions that you're making. Take your time and really go with your gut instinct on this. Okay, so let's get some guidance, a heart and soul message. 
What guidance do we have for Cancer? Okay, so we have this one. There's the sun. It says, an angel surrounds you with rainbow wings, here to reconnect you with your true nature, the balanced, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember that there is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting your spiritual and physical realities will help you reconnect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself that is yearning to play a greater role in your life. There's the sun. Everything will turn out the way that it's supposed to for your highest good. But you also have to have free will and need to take part in making the decision that you know in your heart is best for you, whether this is a job or a relationship. Um, we are doing a soul connection reading, but anything can come through. So take this how it resonates, or if it doesn't, don't make it fit. Please do not make it fit if it's not your reading. There's plenty of other readings. You can check your um, sun, moon, Venus readings, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.